Hello and welcome to another edition of New Blue FX Tips and Techniques. I'm Ian Stark for New Blue. We're going to finish off our tour of Titler Pro 2's new features with a quick look at the wonderful world of EPS importing. EPS is short for Encapsulated Postscript, and for the uninitiated, which included me until I looked it up, this means a container for a stream of generic Postscript printing commands that allows graphical and text data to be described rather than contained within it. Still in the dark? Yes, me too. Well, in simple terms, what we really need to know about EPS files is two things. Firstly, that you can break apart an EPS file and take one part of a picture out of the whole and therefore be able to manipulate the components of a picture. And secondly, that EPS files are scalable because they are vector graphics rather than rasters. And that means that you can fearlessly scale them up as big as you like without them becoming pixelated and messy like, for example, a JPEG. Many graphic designers will deliver their work in the EPS format, often created in applications like Adobe Illustrator. And that's very often going to include corporate logos and other decorative graphics that you might want to include in your video productions. Now, your clients probably don't want you messing around too much with their highly treasured brand designs. But there are times when a plain looking logo like this could do with just a few simple enhancements, like a little extrusion, perhaps a bevel, and a touch of movement and lighting to make it more visually appealing for use in video. If you want to create your own EPS graphics but you don't own Adobe Illustrator or Corel Draw, take a look at Inkscape, an open source vector graphics editor that works very well indeed. So let's start to explore the features in Titler Pro 2 that will allow us to use vector graphics in our video projects. As you'll know, when you create a new Titler Pro project, you're presented with a default text paragraph. We're not interested in that today, so let's throw it away. Under the File menu, you'll find the option to Import Vector. Simply navigate to the folder where your EPS files are contained, select one and open it. Here we have an image that will be familiar to most of you. It is, of course, representative of a Christmas paper chain and is not in any way connected with a well-known international sporting event whose governing body might be a little overprotective of their logo. Right, so that's got the EPS into Titler Pro. What can we do with it now? Well, the simple answer is pretty much anything you can do with a regular Titler Pro text paragraph. You can change its color, move it around, animate it, add new style layers, spruce it up with effects, whatever you like. Remember that you can operate on EPS elements as a whole or individually, just as you can with a paragraph where you might work on a whole word or just one letter. Here's what I mean. At the moment, the green selection bounding box is selecting the entire graphic. So if I change, say, the colour, every element will change to conform to that colour. Let's back up and look at what happens when I select just one segment. You can see that the individual component is now bounded with a blue box to show that a sub-selection of the whole graphic is in use. Now when I change the colour, only that component will be affected. To move to other subcomponents, you can use the left and right arrow keys on your keyboard and to go back to selecting the object as a whole, right click and select Object Parent. Now, there are a few caveats you should be aware of when working with EPS files. Firstly, not all EPS files are created equal. As I found out while putting this tutorial together, some can be downright messy. It will depend on who created them, what application they used and what they contain. For example, an EPS with complicated gradients might not be imported exactly as you might expect. In fact, I found that the more complex the EPS, the greater the chances of it presenting you with issues further down the line. Another thing to be aware of is that because an EPS is made up of multiple components, things like our um, paper chain here look fine in 2D, but as soon as you start to move individual segments around, they're exposed as the evil fraudsters they really are. Actually, I think you can create some quite interesting results using this side effect. In this case, something that even the masterful Escher would be proud of at age 7. Well, that just about wraps it up for EPS import. Just remember that you can do pretty much everything with an imported EPS that you can do with regular text in Titler Pro 2. So, rather than me repeating myself here, take a look at some of the other Titler Pro tutorials for some ideas. 
So, over to you now to have fun with vector graphics in your projects. Just remains for me to say thanks for watching and for learning a little bit more about New Blue FX Titler Pro version 2.